Hello, hello everyone. It's Maddie with Spectrum Art Creations and today we are going to start our series on the Crafter's Companion 12 Days of Christmas. This is an original album which I have made for you guys and for those of you who purchased the kit for, from us, you'll be able to follow along page by page. Um, and for those of you who have not, of course, I hope that you find plenty of inspiration and ideas as well to play along along with. Now, what I plan to do is rather than having a 30-hour um, video, <laughs> I am going to be breaking it down as I had promised into a little bit of crafting every day. So we're crafting together on a daily basis throughout the month of December. Now, every video I'm thinking is going to be mm, an hour, give or take or so per day. So it's into smaller um, bites to craft along every single day until we are done. Now, that might take us six days uh, of crafting, or it could take us 10 or 12. I'm not sure. Again, we're gonna go along because this is full of all kinds of surprises, which I'm not going to show you here on this walkthrough. I'm just kind of quickly flipping, just kind of giving you a teaser of all the things that are to come and that we're gonna be making together one video at a time. Either way, um, what I'm going to do is in the description box down below, I am going to have a full playlist. So I'll be adding the video links each day as we go along. And also at the end of each video, I am going to be linking the next day. So for example, once I'm done with day two, I'm gonna come back to day one and I'm gonna put at the end of day one, day two. At the end of day two will be day three. So you can just kind of click and keep going throughout or again, look in the description box and I'll be creating a playlist for you as well. Now, at the end of the 12 days, we're going to do another full walkthrough in which I'm going to detail every little thing that has been added on here, what is left, some other ideas that I have and inspirations as well. And I'll also show you some pictures of other projects for inspiration made using this collection. So without any further ado, let's jump right in because I am super, super excited. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is look at your kit. The items that you received in your kit are going to be the following. You're going to have some of the gorgeous topper pad. Now, some of you purchased the full pads. Some of you purchased the um, smaller kits. And in those kits, you're going to get one of each of these pages. There's going to be 12 of them total. Now, as of the making of this video, I believe that we have two kits available. So if you would like one of those kits so that you can craft along, make sure that you email me or contact me. The information is in the description box and I will try and put a little um, a card here right on screen so uh, with my email address so in case you want to reach out and score one of those uh, the split kit uh, which has one of everything that you need in order to um, make the class so when I built the class I did it with the smaller kit in mind making sure that we are able to do it by using just what you're going to see here and i believe that kit is under 30 dollars. i'm pretty sure it's right underneath of 30 dollars. so it's a great value because you're going to get you'll see a whole lot of stuff including um as i mentioned 12 of these super beautiful topper pages now, some of these are cut apart, but there are some that are also pop out. So I will show you those here in a second. So you get this page, this page, this one as well. I mean, there's just a lot of ephemera to go with it. All of these labels, all of these beautiful journaling cards as well, which we're going to use throughout the album. And then these three here are the ones that I mentioned that are uh, pop out. So they just pop right out. Uh, there is no fussy cutting involved in these three last pages, as you can see here. In addition to those 12 pages there, you're also going to get one of these gorgeous sheets. This is the Luxury Foiled Acetate 12 by 12 sheet. And you can see it's either gold or silver. And we'll 
um, talk about that a little bit more later, how to work with it. Also, you're going to get one gold and one silver of the Luxury Glitter cardstock 12 by 12. And your designs might vary a little bit on those acetate and glitter pages. Now, then we are going to get one of each of the 12 days of Christmas 12 by 12 beautiful paper pads, starting with a partridge in a pear tree. Then you're also going to get the two turtle doves. Now some of you got the full pad, so you have multiples of each of these pages, but again I'm showing you what comes in the split kit. Then you're going to have three French hens. They're so beautiful. The colors are stunning. It's just absolutely amazing. Four calling birds. I actually had to turn off all my lights. You notice there's a lot of shadows, and that's because the colors were so vibrant that the camera just wasn't liking it. Uh, the five golden rings. I love um, those little golden rings on there. They're so pretty. Then you're going to get one of the six geese are laying. There you go. And then one of the seven swans are swimming. How many of you are singing the song right now? <laughs> I, sometimes I can't say the what comes next unless I'm singing it in my head. So it's pretty funny. Eight mates are milking. Then the nine ladies dancing. But I mean, yeah, the colors are amazing. And I'm going to show you front and back of these here in a second. Those are the um, ladies dancing. I'm sorry. And then ten lords a leaping. And you have them all in the ornaments leaping and we're going to do something really fun with that page and then the 11 11 pipers piping i'm getting all tongue-tied <laughs> and then the 12 drummers drumming there you go so you would have received one of each of these and like i said i'll show you front and back really quick because they're just beautiful and that'll give you a better overview as to what we are going to be working with in order to create this beautiful, beautiful photo album. I'm telling you, I told you, I'm getting all tongue-tied. I think I'm so excited. I really am. I am super excited. I think this is, um, you know, we've done some big albums in, in the Academy, of course, in Spectrum Art Creations Academy. Um, but I've never done a big... Um, kind of like tutorial multi-series uh let's craft along on multiple days kind of thing ever uh on the regular youtube channel so i am super excited to have you guys come along and craft uh with us because i have to say us it's not just me madison who is my daughter for those of you that do not know if you're new to the channel thank you so much for joining us and i hope that you love it and subscribe and stay here and give us a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below but I say us because Madison, my daughter, uh, also helped big time on this thing. I mean, I needed some help and some inspiration. And so she was there saying, hey, what if we move this? And why don't you try this color? So it was definitely a collaboration between Madison and I. So I will definitely give her credit where credit is due because I couldn't have done it without her. Okay, also part of your kit uh, and included in that was a uh, Simple Stories Snap Flipbook album, which I am going to show you how to maximize. So it does come with uh, pages, all of these uh, great clear pages. Some of them are full pages. Some of them have the uh, four by six and the three by four. Some of them have four of the three by fours. So there's different configurations uh, on here as well. These are all included in the flipbook, which again was included in your kit. Now, some of you might have gotten blue, some of you might have gotten black ones, uh, so the color might vary, but again, everyone got one of these in their kits. And in order to work with them, you can uh, remove this from the back, and we're gonna also work on this together, because I'm gonna show you how to turn it into just from this into a fully spined album. I'm gonna show you how to open this up and actually make it into a maybe one and a half, two inch, I don't know, however big you want to make or um, thick you wanna make your album. So let's go ahead and move on to our next step. As we're going to work this a little bit different. Okay, we're gonna build this album a little bit different because after working with the prototype here, I realized that we need to do this a little bit different. We need to do the pages first and then we're going to come back and finish them off by decorating with the remaining scraps. 
So first we're going to build the pages and then we're going to come back and we're going to finish them off with the leftovers. And the reason for that, uh, why I'm going to do it this way is I can almost tell you for sure that if we try to come in here and I tell you, well, cut a little piece from here and here and here and here, you know, it's just going to become quite a mess and it's going to be chaotic and it's going to, we're going to have mistakes. So what we're going to do to avoid that is we're going to build all of the main pages first and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the finishing touches like the additions and the decorating. Plus another advantage to that point is the fact that maybe you will choose to use different scraps. Maybe you want to use a different color or, you know, a backing piece uh, on a particular page. So this will also allow you to customize it once we've gotten all of the big pieces and pages, main pages out of the way, you can use your scraps as you would like to and even alter or switch them around. So that's how we're going to approach that album. I wanted to make sure I share that with you so it doesn't get confusing. Make sure you save every little scrap as we build along. Now I'm going to remove the pages from my prototype to show you how to open up your album because we are going to be removing all of the insides from the snap album, even if you don't have anything in it. So you're going to push your two little pieces up and that's going to free this one and then push down and then that's going to free the other prong and then you're going to slide that out and then you're going to pull that front cover. We're going to come back and do the um, decorating of the covers later on. First, we're going to work on all of our pages. So let's remove, yours will be empty again. Yours will not have any papers inside of it, but remove all of your clear sleeves off of your prongs there. And now we're able to put this away for now. If you want to just Put it back together so that you do not lose any of the parts that's perfectly fine if you want to leave it um, apart and because we're going to work on the covers separately later on if you want to um, you know leave them off just make sure you don't lose any of the little pieces and to close it all you do is fold that prong slide the two little sliders one way and then close the other one and slide back and that's it Okay, now with that done, we are almost done with prepping, right? Because first, for day one, unfortunately, we have to do some prepping in order to stay together step by step. The next thing we're going to need is going to be to create a template for the holes that we're going to be making for the pages that we're going to be creating. So I'm going to need for you to grab a piece of chipboard and, you know, again, you have your gorgeous graphic 45 chipboard I hope from our online stores if you do not have them we do have it available once again the links to the online stores are down below the Etsy store as well as on screen you see at the top www.spectrumartcreations.com but you don't have to use chipboard you you know you could also use some cereal boxes if that's what you've got just make sure you find something that is nice and sturdy so here is my scrap bag of chipboard uh, graphic 45 chipboard which is my favorite to use for everything but here look here's a piece of cereal box or some kind of a box uh, that i thought had a really nice thickness to it so i saved it but you're going to need at least i don't know uh, let's go with uh, an eight and a half by I would say two, three inches would be nice because you can also save this template to use on all of your future snap flip books, uh, which is great. So we're gonna create it and then we're gonna save it for all of our future projects. You only have to do this once. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this down to eight and a half inches and then, as I mentioned, you can just leave whatever width you like. This happens to be three inches, so it's absolutely perfect. That's good enough. If it's two inches, you know, that's perfectly fine. You just want to have enough of a width that it's comfortable for you to actually grab it and work with. Uh, with me, I struggle with my hands, so I tend to like things that are a little bit um, 
sturdier or you know wider so I don't have to finagle with little tiny pieces and uh, have my hands all cramped but all we're going to do with that is we're going to bring in one of our sleeves you need a sleeve so grab one of those real quick and then all that we need to do is going to be to line this up on the left hand side like such we're after these two holes right here we need to replicate those so we're going to line up our sleeve with the template that we're creating uh, where let me grab a you know use a marker so you guys can see it really well on screen and all we're gonna do is line up top bottom and left hand side here and then trace those holes mark where they're at one two and that's it there you go all right now get your crop a dial out uh, or your hole puncher make sure you have the crop a dial in the largest of the two holes if this is the tool that you're using and punch out those holes try and line them up as best as possible it is important that we have a good template uh, because that's going to of course set up all of our pages to come not only for this um, flipbook but for all the future ones and there you can see that they line up perfectly and another reason why I like to make it really wide like this three inch width it's also because it helps me to make sure that my pages are straight now I highly recommend that um, you also label this because later on you're gonna find this maybe in your stash and go well what on earth was this for <laughs> so this way if you label it you'll always know what it is for oh I am sorry there is a helicopter flying overhead I don't know how much of that you guys can hear but um, they are doing military runs because the weather is really cold here in Florida and I think that um, when there's like a variance in weather they like to do exercises and man it gets loud <laughs> So Simple Stories uh, Snap Flipbook, as you can see, it is now labeled. I now know what this belongs to and it is ready to go for all of my future uses. Okay, guess what? We are done. Let's put those pages away, of course, so we do not lose them. I keep mine, uh, you know, in a specific bag, like I grab a, a storage bag and I keep them in there so that I as I'm needing them, I'm pulling them out, but then that way I won't lose them because they're clear and they're easy to misplace. <laughs> so we're gonna put this right here because we're gonna be needing it all week long. Okay, now let's move on to our, our first page. That first page, that first full sleeve is intended to be a six by eight. Um, however, it's more like a six and a quarter. And if you want to really to go beyond that and if you want to be really exact i'm going to give you some tips here next on that first page once we've gotten through that we can move forward with the rest of the album because you will have the information for the true measurements okay to make the first page it's going to be a very simple page at first we need to protect this one and the last one we're going to make those uh, protector sleeves because they take the most brunt so this one um, you know and obviously as you're flipping and you're putting all the weight on this first page we want to make sure that it's nice and protected so it's going to be a full sleeve page now to make this sleeve page you want to cut at eight and a half tall so we look at the sleeve by itself. It is about almost eight and a half inches tall. Okay, right there. And if you look at the width, you have about six and a quarter. However, if you cut it at six and a quarter, it's gonna be kind of tight. So you wanna cut about a six and an eighth, just the hair underneath the six and a quarter. And if you make it eight and a half, it's going to be, again, way too perfect. It's gonna stick out. So we can cut just shy of that. So let's, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you. If I cut at eight and a half exactly, and I can always just trim this down. If I cut at eight and a half, and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna, we're after this partridge right here and we cut at six and a quarter, I'm gonna show you what happens. And then I can trim it down some. Six and a quarter. Okay, and we're gonna save those. 
if I were to try and stick this in here now, you're going to notice that it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. See? I mean, it can happen, but you're going to kind of be trying to kind of fight with it some. But it can happen. So if you do not mind wrestling with it just a little bit, that will give you the perfect 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 fit there you go so it is perfect here and it is perfect here there's not a single um you know eighth of an inch to spare and that's fine but if you're going to be putting stuff in the pocket it might get a little thick so for me what i like to do is i like to do these at six and an eighth so just shave off a hair and by shaving off this little bit of hair, you're going to get a page that slides in snugly, but still you don't have to fight with it. See, so it slides in like butter. So if I were to do it, this is how I would do it. I would do six and an eighth by eight and a half. And if you feel like it sticks out a little bit here too, once again, you can also just shave it just a little bit instead of the eight and a half. You can come up just a smidge, an eighth, mm -hmm. and shave a little piece, and then that will give us the perfect fit. So that is going to be your first page for now. Of course, we're going to come back and decorate it and do some other stuff, but that is partridge in a pear tree, and we now understand a little bit more as to how the sleeve is going to work. Also, another thing to note is you'll notice that you're going to have a little gap right here, right? That's where the pen, the page will bend. Plus, you're also going to have some more paper that is going to be lost somewhere in here. So when you're cutting your pages, just know that the image needs to be centered this way. Do not take into consideration neither this piece nor the spine. So neither this little gusset nor the spine needs to be taken into consideration, okay? Um, so that's gonna be page number one, and then we're gonna work on page number two next. Now again, you want to save all of these pieces here. Do not discard those. So if you want, maybe get a big bag or a tray of some sort, and then just start putting those in a tray or a bucket. So let's put that off to the side. And that concludes day one. Now I know day one is a lot of setup. It's a lot of, you know, pulling things apart, understanding the mechanisms, understanding um, dimensions, uh, getting uh, our template set up, all that kind of stuff. From here on out though, we are going to pick up the pace. It's gonna come together that much quicker because we now have all of the setup done. So starting um, with the next video, we're gonna come on to do page two. And then from there on, it is going to pick up the pace. So yes, come back and let's do this page together. Now, the other thing I wanted to um, remind you guys of is if you are not part of our Facebook group, we definitely hope that you will join it because you'll get to share a whole bunch of inspiration, all of your makes, uh, you get to ask questions, you get to see other people's creations as well, and it is just a fantastic community. So if you are not part of our Facebook group, make sure that you join us there as well. And we certainly hope that you will consider us for your arts and craft supply needs. We have two online stores to serve you, spectrumartcreations.com and our Etsy store under Spectrum Art Creations with thousands of products from all around the world. Uh, and of course, if you haven't joined us for our Saturday live sales, you definitely have to. We have live YouTube sales every week here on our YouTube channel where you get to see the product live, you get to ask questions, we do demos, games, giveaways. It's just a whole lot of fun, but you get to see the product live on screen and then you get to purchase it right then and there. 
uh, it's an amazing way to shop and of course to become part of the community as well because we have lots of friends and crafty friends and like-minded folks as well in those sales now if you have not heard we also have spectrum art creations academy and in the online academy we have more exclusive content for you if you are enjoying making this album we have many more classes like it and many more we have mixed media album making paper crafting techniques like alcohol inks magicals you name it we've got it so if you'd like exclusive content if you like workshops if you like all of these perks and so much more please be sure to check out the information on spectrum art creations academy which i will leave a link to down in the description box and also at the end of this video okay as promised i am going to leave you with uh, video number two here at the end so that you can hop on to day number two of this tutorial we hope that you're enjoying the series and that you will continue to craft along with us we'll see you in that other video bye for now